Hello, my name is Josh Beavers, and I'm going to be working with you, teaching you about the online registration system. Most of this video is going to focus on uh, creating an account and new uh, registration for children. But at first, I'm going to go over just how you get into and uploading the documents for uh, existing children. All right, so here is the website. It's parentcenter.webster psb.org now uh, sub uh, backslash register now everything that I'm going to be going over with you there's also going to be a step-by-step uh, -step guide that the school board is putting out so you can access that if that uh, helps you step-by-step -step to what you need to do so right here current students over here on this side if your child is currently enrolled in Webster Fair School, please click here to access the Student Progress Center where you can update, verify the information in your child's record. Now, you have to have two proofs of residence, which could be a utility bill or a current lease mortgage. Students new to Webster Parish, if you're new to Webster Parish, use this program to begin the enrollment process in the Webster Parish School. New users must create a username and password. The system defaults to your email address as your username unless you change it. You will need the following documents to complete the application process. Parent guardian information, driver's license or photo ID, two proofs of residence, utility bill or current lease mortgage information. You also will need student information, your birth certificate, social security card, immunization records, custody papers if applicable. Okay, so here current students so you'd click and you can do all this on your phone as well uh, it's a very user-friendly system so you can do it on your phone as well okay so if you are a uh, parent of a child who's already in the system all you have to do is click right here and then just go over everything and make sure that your child's information is correct um, it's a very simple self-explanatory process and then you have to upload the new documents and I'm gonna show you how to do it as we register a new child so right here I'm gonna go under uh, move over here to the right we're gonna create an account as if we're a new child coming into the system so I'm just gonna make this up John Doe uh, cell phone 318-555-555 and I'll just put uh, John Doe at gmail.com. Okay, so once you enter your information, your phone number, your email address, you'll be you'll receive a code, all right, to either your email or your phone. This is the code that I got. Now you have to have it a valid uh, phone number or a valid email address that you can that you can uh, access. So this is the code that I got for our John Doe. You hit continue, verify your code. Now it puts this information in here like this. Now this is self, uh, uh, this is uh, information for me, so I'm gonna change it. So we're gonna call uh, just John Doe. We'll make up a password, John, let's see, John Doe, one, two, three. I'm just making up a password. I wouldn't suggest that you make a password easy to guess like this. Then you're going to need to go in here. You're going to need to say uh, something that you know. Uh, what high school did you attend? Secret answer number one. I'm going to put Haynesville. Secret question number two. What is your favorite color? Blue. Tell us more about yourself. This is all the information here. I'm going to change this away from me. This is being... This information is coming in because of my um, because uh, this computer has my information. So we're going to do right here, John Doe at gmail.com. Put a phone number in here, 318-555-555. Physical address. This information is necessary. Physical address, let's just say 123 Main Street, Minden. No, we don't need that. Excuse me, back up off there. Minden. And then information here. 
We're in Louisiana. Zip code. Submit. Oh, my ball. See, passwords may not match. So if you get a mistake, it'll uh, tell you. John Doe123. Doe123. Still don't think they matched. Hold on. John Doe123. So what do we got to do here? Okay. So we completed all that information. We get our validation code, we created our login, we put our address, we did all of this stuff. It's gonna ask you for more information. If it has a red asterisk, as we saw, you had to complete it. So the parent who began the application will be listed. Parent guardian, up here, John Doe. You can add a parent or guardian if you want to, if you wanna put uh, uh, whoever you'd like to put on that, the mother, the father, grandparent, whoever the, the, the legal guardian is. So you go here. You can add additional students. So this is where you need to add your student. Okay, so let's put this in here. Uh, student's name, relationships, languages, all this kind of stuff. You go in here, let's call John Doe Jr. Or no, I'll take that back. Let's do something a little more inventive than that. Let's do Jane Doe. Daughter's name is Jane Doe. You have to put the information in here. We're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Birthday, uh, one, one. Or it's easier if you just do it like this. Click right here. Uh, let me change this. So 1990. No, these kids are too, too not that old. 2005. Okay. Uh, male or female? It's female. Primary ethnicity. Uh, any of these you ask for, Hawaiian, Native American, Alaskan, Asian, Hispanic, Black, White, top one, other ethnicities, at that, and then the grade. I'm not sure what 2005 would be, so we're going to say uh, they're very advanced, they're senior. All right, save and continue. Uh, please enter a valid uh, okay, well, we don't have a valid, and I'm not going to put somebody's social security number in there, but it has to have a valid, all right? Then you go through here and you do the relationships. Uh, relationships, uh, check all options that apply. Language, you go in here. US born, yes, no, we'll say yes. Primary language, we can click English. Save and continue. Uh, physical address, you go in here and you do these things. You answer the questions, same as the guardian. Anything with a red asterisk has to be answered. Zip code. And what have you all right down here the next one attendance zone this will be the last school attended previous grade where they went to school before okay mailing address because it's a completely separate thing if a student is just now entering the the system as far as like uh the youngest children uh, if you're already have been in a school system that's why i would would say that cassie fields uh, already entered made one of these videos and you can refer to the youtube page if you need uh, help with that uh health you have to get the, this information here now, apparently this is not mandatory because there's no red asterisks special needs permissions all right this is important you have to go through here anything that has an asterisk you have to answer all right now again there's going to be a paper document that you can refer to if uh, you have any questions so once we answer this about students you'll have the option to save it go to your household so it asks you these are your numbers here it asks the total of people in your house number of adults number of children you'll click on save and continue uh, step one step two this gives you more information what you need to complete going through here based on the total number of children entered in step one use the table below to enter the names and birth dates etc step three please complete the section if your child is entering pre-k only step four your electronic signature basically you put your name here and you sign it just says that this is what you're saying is accurate. So once you answer all of these questions about parent guardian students household this is the most important part the documents section okay so you have to upload these files now i already have some example files to download i mean to upload you have to have your birth certificate your immunization record your proof of residence 
number one, proof of residence two. And this information is not mandatory, all of these things right here. The ones with the red asterisk, birth certificate, immunization record, proof of residence one, proof of residence two, have to be. Now, how do you upload these documents? Well, if you're doing this on your phone, you can just take a picture of it. You can just literally get the document, the, the, your bill, take a picture of it, and you can just upload it uh, when you get this part on your phone. And again, this whole setup is exactly the same on a phone as it is on a computer. It tells you right here if you're using a uh, if you're using a desktop computer, choose the location where the document is stored on your computer. Click on the documents to upload. How do you get them on the computer? Well. You could take a picture of it and connect your phone to your computer. You could get a scanner and scan the document in. You could take a picture of it with your phone and email it to yourself and access it that way. There's all, any number of ways to access uh, photos, transfer photos from your phone to your computer or to scan them in. All right? And it'll take anything. It'll take a PDF, a JPEG, PNG, GIF, or GIF. TIFF file, etc. So right here, so once you get to this part, all right, choose file to upload. This is your birth certificate required. You click right here. Now I already have some files. So birth certificate, here's my birth certificate. I'm gonna put it in here, hit open. There it goes. Now you have to do your immunization record. Choose file to upload. Here is my, it's a shot record. Open, okay. Now proof of residence one. Residency test one. Proof of residence two. Residency test two. Now this information down here, this is not mandatory, but you can click choose file to upload if you have any court records. Uh, parent ID, income test, birth certificate test, etc. All of this stuff you can enter if you need to. All right, you upload your documents. There it goes. Now, once you get to that part, you hit review and submit, and you submit everything. All right, and then you'll hit submit. You have to sign it, then you hit submit. All right, so again, to access this, you go to parentcenter.websterpsb.org slash register. There's also a link on the district uh, website, and you can go there and you can do all of these things. Again, if you are a returning parent, all you have to do is go in and verify the information and submit your proof of residence and all of that to see if there's any changes from last year. If there are any questions, you can contact the uh, school board office. There's also a detailed list of everything that I just went over on the website. All of this information is on our social media accounts. If you have any further questions, please contact the Webster Parish School District. Mm -hmm.